Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you do consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share it to your friends. And with that said let's get on with the review and thanks for watching. Most PCs that have shipped in the last 5 years are capable of running trusted platform module version 2.0, TPM 2.0. TPM 2.0 is required to run Windows 11, as an important building block for security-related features. TPM 2.0 is used in Windows 11 for a number of features, including Windows Hello for identity protection and BitLocker for data protection. In some cases, PCs that are capable of running TPM 2.0 are not set up to do so. If you are considering upgrading to Windows 11, check to ensure TPM 2.0 is enabled on your device. Most retail PC motherboards used by people building their own PC, for example, ship with TPM turned off by default even though it is almost always available to be enabled. Follow this simple steps in order to enable TPM 2.0. The app is fairly simple, in that it quickly audits PCs to see if they meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. Those include a compatible processor with at least two cores and clocked at 1 GHz or faster, 64 GB or more of available storage, at least 4 GB of RAM, and support for both secure boot and trusted module platform TPM, 2.0 technologies. There are some underlying nuances to the requirements. As it pertains to the processor, having at least two cores and running at 1 GHz or higher is not enough, it also has to be a model that is on Microsoft list of supported CPUs. However, if your system does not meet the minimum requirements you should try the following method. A GitHub developer Aveo has made a new Windows 11 install script for his Universal Media Creation Tool wrapper which bypasses these TPM and system requirements checks. The tool itself isn't new, but, support for Windows 11 and the skip TPM check feature were added this month. According to the changelog specific for Windows 11, the tool will skip TPM check on media boot via winpeshel.ini file and skip TPM check on dynamic update. When executed, the script creates a special value in the registry and sets it to 1 or true. It also deletes the appraiserres.dll file. Bear in mind though that this is an unofficial third-party tool and you'll have to proceed at your own risk if you wish to run it on your daily driver. So it's recommended you try it on a virtual machine or run a full backup prior trying this. For my installation I used a USB flash drive and the software did the rest.
Thank you for watching. Please consider supporting my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you.